Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today I'm headed out to a couple stores to get some fishing lures. I have a $20 budget. Let's see what I can do with $20. Here we are at everyone's favorite, or least favorite store, Walmart. Let's see what they got in here. All right, I got a few items at Walmart. Now let's head to Ollie's. Here we are at Ollie's, let's find a place to park. All right, I managed to find a few items at Ollie's as well. So let's get home and see what I got for about 20 bucks. All right, let's see what I got for 20 bucks. First, we're going with good old Walmart. All right, here's my receipt that shows how much I paid for everything. Let's get into it. Granite Outdoors, Worm Hooks, 3 out. The reason I got these was because they look pretty staunch. They don't look like the typical cheap thin wire hooks. They look pretty strong. So I thought I'd give them a try. Check this out. Look at that. That don't bend. I mean, that's pretty strong. 88 cents for a pack of five of these. I thought this looked like a pretty good worm hook for 88 cents. Nice resealable package. Three out worm hooks. One dollar. KVD Mustad Snaps. Forty pound rating. Let's take a look at it. It's really small, but hopefully the camera can pick it up. All right, so here we go. All right, so this is a snap. Basically, you tie your line onto this end and you put your lure on this end. Then you close it back up like that. And it's a fast way to interchange your lures, especially things like crankbaits. Got this package of 30 KVD snaps. One dollar at Walmart. All right, so here we have Arky Crawfish Jig Trailers, a five pack. Let's see how much this was. This was a dollar twenty-two. I've never seen this before. Arky Crawfish Jig Trailers. Let's get one out. If you're familiar with the show, you know I like fishing with craws. So here it is. It's got a nice rippled design. A lot of ridges on it. It's got some little antennas. I bet this has good action for a trailer. I bet it would work fairly well. Just Texas rigged on a one or a two out hook. That's primarily why I got it, but I'll probably try it as a trailer as well. And that was a five pack. For a dollar twenty two, that's a good deal. Let's see what else I got. Power bait crazy legs chigger craw. Let's see what I paid for this. Two bucks. Alright, two dollars. Crazy legs chigger craw from Power Bait. Let's take one out and take a look at it. got that power bait scent. There we go. It's a nice looking craw. It's got some really long antennas and they're still in the mold. See you'd have to pull it and separate it which I'm gonna do right now so you can see what it looks like when it's ready to go. You gotta separate the 
antennas and separate the claws. There we go. It's got the flapping claw action as well as twirling antennas. And for two bucks, for an eight pack, you can't go wrong with that. This was in black and blue. Let's see what else I got. All right, I got Net Bates Black and Blue Baby Packer Craw. Let's see how much this one cost. This one was also two dollars. Let's take a look at them. Alright, this is pretty cool. So it's hollow. It's hollow inside, so if you got some scent or something, you could squirt it up in there. So as you drag it along, it would leave a little scent trail, which is really neat. It's good color, black and blue. It's got nice long claws on it. I couldn't help but pick this up. It looked too good to pass up for two dollars. And for an eight pack, that's a good deal. And one last item. 700 yards of 12 pound test. This is Omniflex Mono. As a beginner, this is what I use because it costs like $1.75. Let's see exactly what it costs. $1.74. So I can spool my baitcaster three times with this. And being the amateur that I am, I snag on stuff, I damage my line, I mess up. This doesn't break the budget. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, this bag is from Ollie's Bargain Outlet. And what Ollie's is, it's a closeout store. So when, let's say, Walmart or Academy or some store has last year's baits that they can't get rid of, they end up at Ollie's or other bargain outlets for a discount. Let's see what I got. Bam! Kinshu Minnow. The big one. Still got the price tag on it. $2.99. This thing is a beast. This is a giant crankbait. I don't know if I'll ever use this thing, but for $3.00 I'll buy it just to look at it. Bam! Look at this thing. It's got to be an eight, 8 inch crankbait. It says it dives from 8 to 12 feet. So it's not a super deep running crankbait. Look at the lip on this thing. And those treble hooks. And it has a nice pearl color with the dot here to mimic a shad. Also if you look inside there are three or four really big ball bearings in the front here and a few in the back here to give it balance. I'm really curious how this thing swims. For three dollars this thing is amazing. See if I can get it back in the package without hooking myself. I might be able to catch a striper or a really big bass on this. I don't know. It's a pretty intimidating bait. Three dollars though. Let's see what else we got. Berkeley Havoc Green Pumpkin Devil Spear. Got this for a dollar ninety-nine. Let's take a look at them. All right, so this is like a beaver bait, craw bait hybrid. It looks sort of like a pit boss, but the claws aren't separated. So it's just one big tail. And for $1.99 for eight of them, 
You can't go wrong with that. Awesome, awesome deal right here. Let's see what else we got. All right, we have some Gulp Alive Bubblegum Colored one and a half inch hogs. Got the price tag covering up the label here. But I'm going to twist it just a little bit so you can see inside the jar. This is a one and a half inch crayfish bait. Against my better judgment, I'm going to open this and show you one. All right. So here's what we have. This is a one and a half inch crayfish bait. It has that gulp scent. Kind of kind of sour like pickles. It's hard to describe. So it's got the little claws. It's got the antennas right here. I thought this would make a great little panfish bait or even a little subtle finesse bait for a bass. Just a little hook on that dragging it on the bottom. I bet that'll work good. Again, $1.99 for that. It's not every day you find a jar of gulp for $1.99. I had to get another one. Two jars of gulp. This one, pearl white. Same thing though. One and a half inch hog. I was really curious to give this a try. I have a lot of gulp products, but not this one. So I was really excited when I found it. And the last item, $1.59. Johnson Silver Minnow. This is a big spoon. How big is this? It's a one and an eighth ounce. It doesn't say how many inches, but I'm going to say it's about four inches. Let's take it out of the package and look at it. Look at that spoon. I'm pretty sure I could catch a bass on this. It comes with the weed guard here. Carefully bend it where you want it to go. There we go. Just above the hook. See you like that. So the weeds brush up and over. Really shiny chrome on the back side. Sexy shad pattern on this side. One and an eighth ounce. So that'll cast pretty far. Johnson Silver Minnow. Got that for a $1.59. Let's go over them again one more time real quick. What I got for 20 bucks today. Three out worm hooks, five pack. KVD snaps, 40 pound test. 30 of them in there, 30 of them. Arky crawfish jig trailers and green pumpkin. Five of them for $1.22. Power bait chigger craws, black and blue. Two dollars. What a deal. I also got these net bait baby pack of craws in black and blue. Two dollars. My favorite go to cheap fishing line, Omniflex 12 pound test. Not one but two jars of gulp, one and a half inch crayfish. These were $1.99 each. This Big Daddy Kinchu Minnow, $2.99. That's an amazing deal. Berkeley Havoc Devil Spear. Another great deal for $2. And finally, Johnson Silver Minnow with the shad pattern. This thing's pretty amazing for $1.59. Can't wait to give that a try. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. $20 is realistic.